my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we did a lot of stuff coming into the castle. We got, we finished the side quest. We did a little bit of grinding. Everybody is fully equipped. It's weird that the world kind of hates us. Mysterious stone. Is that the only thing in here? That's so much. Yeah. Got it. I can use this key to open up the safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Yeah, that would help. I think what's about this? I want to give to him if anybody does. He needs all the protection he can get. Defense and protection against that by four percent. You know, that would help. You need that though. So what's the other thought? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need fire resistance. You know who does though? Well, wait a minute. Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. I'm gonna keep on the tech redstone just in case for now. But that's gonna be one of those late game items I'll never use, even though I should use. I know how this game works, or I know how I know I work. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a silver. Should I open it? Yeah. Sweet. Is that a map? Hmm? It's a freaking map. Huh. It's some sort of blueprint for the facility. It's interesting. Why does he act? Huh. There's a room where they found the key, but I don't remember seeing a door. Maybe it's hidden like a fortress in Bad Fortune. Yeah. So, I got safety boots. I mean, physical protection's really good. Is that here? Yep. Plus full grenades. So, I gotta keep an eye on silver chest. I didn't know. Ah, oh, the statue is something. The Shogun armor. Hmm. No doors. That's weird. The blueprint one was right here. Uh -oh. Whoa, check this out. It's a fight. And then you gotta fight him. Uh, sure. Here it goes. Seriously? It worked. <laughs> Alright, now we go up. That's anti-climatic. There are any shinies in here before we go up? Is it? Yeah, I'm like, Should I know I how these games work. Got An it. optional path to take a jacket. Okay, so... Who can use a jacket, apparently? Actually, I probably know who. You know what? With overall defense, I gotta make... If Yaku... If Ichiban goes down, the fight's over, so... We need to make him, like, tanky as possible. Heck, he even wears more health than Adachi now. Is that another silver chest? Should I open it? Sweet! Health ring. I know I'm, this is getting annoying for you all, but you know... Oh, don't, it's strength. It's not even health. It's funny Back part. again, huh? So this is where we are. Wait, we, we've been here already? Should I open it? Oh, that's the conversation, but silver chest. Wait. We've been here already? No, we haven't. Yeah, we have been here already. Hey, this place looks safe enough. Why don't we take a breather? Huh. Ooh, chest. And there's another shiny. Slow down. Jaws. Mysterious fruit. Alright, 
Alright, we are gonna save. There isn't a save point, is there? Huh, that. That's weird. Usually there's a save point for these kind of things. Wait, it's shiny. Mysterious carrot. Oh, this is like a cherub in room. Because it is. Well, you're such a pain. We just want to see the chairman out of the way. You made it this far, and that's far enough. Again, we've tried this. Wait, you three again. Right? Because I see, this time will be different. Three of us together are unstoppable. Well, it's unstoppable tree versus unstoppable tree. Well, come on, you three. Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The underlings again. I freaking hate you guys. Yeah. Remember my Heath Weakens fire? And he's burned. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna do Fuel's Command this time so we get strength and boot increase. Good health decrease. Alright, let's do it. Feels like in there. That was a really good play. What? What? Now we're talking. Have fun with this. Ah, we need to kill Ada. Need a healer. Let's get it done. Check this out. Somebody up in really good shape. Damage, but I need to kill Ada. Alright, let's do it. Going in. Oh, you're way to this. Oh, I'm sorry, you pulled me. Unfortunate part of the game is no other. No 
experience, unfortunately. Hard leather boots is kind of interesting. Yeah. How the likes of you learn to fight like that? <sighs> Who are you? What employees from your place of business, Odohime Land? Uh, you're from our own soap land. We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. You've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you, we're doing what needs to be done. No, you're not. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit. You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself. That's being a fucking prick. Stop this. Oh, huh. And you are? Chairman of the coin. Oh, ha! Huh. My name's Andy. Boss! Kotska, what's happening here? Uh, there was a dispute on our turf. And so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle. Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. idea where it came from though someone just put it in my pocket at some point <sighs> what should we do nothing it's just play money okay you sure you don't want to tie a string around it hurts like a bitch if you don't huh. I suppose you would know wouldn't you of course after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Mm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Oh, no. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business. But I have no need or desire for your opinion. He's murdering innocent people. The 
misfortune is often a side effect of profit. What? One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. That logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totsuka, I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peaceful. You should realize, sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Yeah. What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself, and she approved it. That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway, are we really getting rid of his finger? He doesn't have to give her a finger, does he? Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in What? Your They're gonna expel him? <laughs> no. Chairman! Chairman! I didn't see that coming. Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. I've read the four. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. <laughs> starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that. You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa, of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa? Yep. Although, when I went.
went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. Uh oh. The clan's gonna take over Yokohama, and we're gonna see them versus Toto or Arakawa. That's my theory. But it's all just a theory. A game theory. Yeah, cool. No, okay, we're not done. At least I don't think we're done yet. I feel like we should have like five more minutes of cutscenes now in this game, and we have to go back to the brothel. Well. Guess we should head back to the soap lab. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, that was a shocker. How Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Oh, huh. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. <laughs> okay. All right, five minutes with cut six. Are you Nanoha Mukoda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize Wait, and ask for your what? understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Wait, what? Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... He'll die without the surgery. Uh-oh. Uh, just double-checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um, at the meeting, we... What the heck? The scumbag lied and threatened to kill her dad. Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First timer, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? God. Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn. Barely got to him in time. Nanoha, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again. 
and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. Oh, oh. really? Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... What do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge. Until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives' hunches. Dachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat lot of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Huh. Yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. I like Michiban. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was the most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Oh, we're just gonna fast travel there. We'll say we're gonna fast travel there. No, no, we're not. Cool. Next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, we're gonna go visit our current boss. I'll see you then.